stars in alignment. And we are underway. Well, the star wearing the number seven on his back couldn't be much better aligned on the board. Again, the first time since 1960 that Real Madrid has scored that early in Granada. And the man who did that is the legend of De Stefano. Cordoba in the middle has had a number of opportunities but has not been able to get past both Ramos and Pepe. The one time when the two collided, Pepe still was able to make it back in time. Off to the near side to Neom. Still just 24, the French-born Cameroonian. Not quite sure that Caparros is using those fullbacks as much as he can, but it's a little harder to take a risk when you're facing Real. From the ground, Dituro. Flipped forward. Chance for Isaac. Deflected, though, as he took a second look. He wouldn't get a second touch. Isco. Benzema tries the back heel. Good hustle. Isaac again. Has help. Goes to Cordoba on the turn. The shot. A weak roller. But a better start for Granada. Yeah, it's more like it from Granada into the second half. They have to do something in this match to try and get a strike on goal. They need to find that one goal to get themselves back into this match. It really has been disappointing. And tried to frustrate Real Madrid as much as they possibly could, but there's domination and possession, the opportunities in front of goal. And Real Madrid have just been another level. You can't really fault the attitude from these Granada players. They've tried ever so hard to keep themselves in the match, be aggressive, try to close down quick enough. And it's very difficult to do. They have committed 10 fouls as well in this contest to try and slow down. Caparros is not one to shy away from the physical game. He also is one that can tend to work miracles down the stretch. And if the goals don't start coming for Granada, another miracle might be required. Isaac, slow to his feet. When a player goes down with no one around, it's always a bit of a concern. Although this does appear to be physical. Favoring that leg and needing a bit of help. And it looks like this might be a chance for a swap. Mentioned they do have both Yusuf El Adabi and Ruben Roshina available on the bench. It looks like they will be making a switch, and it will be El Adabi who will check in. Well, he's come in off the bench the last couple of games for Granada. The starter for much of last year, to some promise, went out and got Cordoba to shore things up, and El Adabi has had to play more of a reserve role this year. Again, if there is a bit of a surprise, it's the fact that Carlo Ancelotti put out what is arguably his best lineup today. Considering the fact they have the return leg against Liverpool to come midweek. However, as Granada has shown, they've been difficult to break through. It's taken two great performances to get it done. If they hadn't played their best, they might be paying the price. On his heels, Roberto actually falling backwards to read that hop. That's a good stop from Roberto. Ronaldo's got one intention in his mind, and that's to pull the trigger. That little dip right in front of the goalkeeper makes it ever so difficult to gain control of the ball first time. And Roberto does a great job of that. I'm not surprised to see the substitution taking place regardless of the injury. Isaac... Just struggling to really make an impact on the game. El Arabi, we know, is dangerous. We know he's strong. See what he can do to cause problems to this Real Madrid backline. So far, they haven't had many issues to deal with. Well, like many of his fellow Granada players, born in France, although representing 
his heritage of Morocco. Scored a goal pretty much every three games since making the move from Al Hilal. In for Modric. Sends the footsteps, gets it back to Casillas. First touch from the substitute. Goes awry, stolen back though. Did he knock it off of Ramos? Yes, he did. Good hustle. Bit of a smile from Fulquier, who's getting a chance to run today. It could have gone either way. And Fulquier might have made contact with that ball off his boot just before it crossed the line. Regardless, it looked like Ramos was the one who made the last contact. Opportunity, Granada. Near post six, botting it away. Isco lifts his boot and actually the foul whistled against Itura maybe as he lifted it it comes off the hands but that would be hard to say it was intent well it's the problem when you've got a reputation of being an aggressive player I think it's handball more than anything now is he protecting his face no good call by Gonzalez he does have that reputation of being a little chancellor as well he's an aggressive player he's done a good job today Itura being involved trying to get stuck into these Real Madrid players but at 2-0 it's a scoreline that's comfortable for Real Madrid at the moment. And the last thing they want to do is let Granada back into this match. They need to go for that third goal. So far, it's been a positive start to the second half for the home side. Ball knotted down. Again, if Itura does get that call, 2-1. to one. Still much of the second half to go. Launch long, El Arabi. Contact, but not full. And again, no problem for Casillas. Oh, it's good play. I don't really think there's any fault in blaming El Arabi for just trying to strike this one first time. He just gets his technique completely wrong. No real power behind the strike. And Real Madrid just needs to try and gain possession of the ball over the half halfway line again. Smart from Roberto. Neom back. And they'll have to settle for a throw in. Real Madrid's been on their heels just a touch to start the second half. Comfortable in a 2-0 lead. And again, that could be dangerous if Granada does get a goal to see if Real Madrid can start the engine up again. Mentioned the game coming on Tuesday against Liverpool. Then they have some interesting performances coming up. A mini Madrid derby against Rayo. Then a difficult trip, one that I'm really looking forward to at a bar and then against Basel but still have nearly 40 minutes of this one to go Ronaldo the back heel Benzema Ronaldo puts it on a platter and Benzema sweeps it home if there was any doubt you can probably wipe it away now well this time it comes from a patient build up from Real Madrid it's been a slower start to the second half, but make no mistake, once they do get the ball in the final third, it is complete punishment. Lovely back heel from Cristiano. He comes off deep to try and pick up possession, and the Granada players just switch off. An essential part of your defense, you can't afford to do that when Karim Benzema's around. Wonderful finish outside of the boot, back of the net. Real Madrid take that 3-0 lead, great finish. Returning the favor, Ronaldo. It was Benzema who fed him back in the second minute. And now in the eighth minute of the second half, Benzema on the board. Well, there's the third goal. It just relaxes everyone in a black jersey today. Granada started the second half positively. They tried to put pressure. El Arabi had an opportunity on goal. And Real Madrid had little to do in the final third. And then all of a sudden, Real Madrid find that third goal and it settles them completely. Fifth goal of the season for Benzema. Scored early this year against Cordoba. Didn't score all of September. Three goals in October, now starting November off on a high note. Interestingly, though, of the five goals, that's the first that Benzema has scored away from home. Modric 
Pepe feeling it as he goes behind his back twice. Cross. Modric oh. spanks it. Marcelo. Ronaldo was hoping that he could stop and have that ball carry. But Sissoko appeared to hit his face on the back of Ronaldo's head, but he did get rid of the ball. Hamas to cross Isco to Modric back to cross the pendulum picking up pace or is it a guillotine Marcelo oh. kisses the crossbar a little too much respect being shown now from these Granada defenders this is a wonderful effort from Marcelo on the right foot his weaker side what about that for a strike great technical ability good power behind the strike and that's very unfortunate. It doesn't find its way into the top corner of the net. Great chance. Lovely build up again. And really, that's what it's been all about today, Phil. Not one individual performance. It's been a team effort from Real Madrid. Every one of these players is playing well. 19,000 in attendance here today. The corners separating are kept empty. Capado said Real Madrid was not invincible. Wonder if he's having second thoughts. Mentioned the eight league matches in a row that have ended with a victory. This is now going to be, bar a miracle, their 11th straight in all competitions. Nice little drive to the inside, but Sissoko having to settle for the corner. Put eight on the board against Deportivo. In four other matches, they've scored five. And then put three on the board against Liverpool, Barcelona, and now Granada. Five in the box, launched high, back post, Casillas with the punch. Strong step up, maybe a bit too strong. It really is mind blowing. You just mentioned the numbers there. This is their 18th goal in three and 57 minutes of matches. I mean, that is unbelievable scoring ratio. It just seems to be getting better and better for Real Madrid at the right time. To Modric haven't lost a game since the match against Atletico that was oh. mid-September here comes Benzema Ronaldo another back heel Isco Marcelo the scary thing is they could still get better this would have been one of the goals of the season had it come off Isco just can't get his first touch right defensively. Granada do a better job of closing Isco down, limiting the strike. Lovely back heel from Ronaldo. And Isco trying to come back inside on that right foot. And the space is closed down quickly. Better defending from Granada. Think back to the fall when, actually, tail of the summer when they were getting ready and they lost to Fiorentina, then stumbled in the Super Cup. Only that opening win against Cordoba to their credit before they lost against Sociedad and Atletico they have been near perfect since Modric again in many ways it was the insertion of Isco perhaps due to necessity but the invention has looked good little touch in for Ronaldo wide open as Isco but he can't get it there Blocking it away, Babam. And he'll just put it to safety. 60th minute. Well, he has started his best team. You'd kind of sense that this might be the point where Ancelotti, with a 3 0 lead, lets a few other horses run. Yeah, it seems to be the perfect time. Obviously, with Liverpool in mind, an opportunity to take. 
one or two of your playmakers off the field who have played a lot of minutes in recent weeks for this Real Madrid side. And you can see Granada just dropping back so deep inside their own half. The midfield four has dropped so deep on top of their back four. There's no real high pressure anymore. And the 3-0 scoreline gives a great advantage now for Ancelotti to tinker with his lineup. That's a foul. Advantage apparently. Gonzalez not even reaching for the whistle. Benzema soft. Ronaldo, oh. Marcelo, Baba in the way again. Well, again, an opportunity that is beautifully created as it finds its way out to Marcelo. Every intention of finding Karim Benzema, who continues his run inside the box. That's great defending again, this time from Babin. Just to clear the danger, lovely build up Real Madrid. Modric picking his poison. Curls to the spot. Ronaldo doesn't challenge. Cross couldn't get over that. And it's slammed into touch. Last victory for Granada. September 20th. As they were able to sneak out a victory at the new San Mames. They've only scored two goals since. And one to preserve a draw against Abar last week. After this, Celta Vigo on the road, Almeria at home, and then Sevilla on the road, who are currently one of the Cinderella's this season. Credit to Carlos Baca, by the way, player of the Americas in La Liga, even ahead of the likes of Messi and Di Maria. Cross heard the footsteps. Isco, Benzema, makes it up as he goes along. Isco dances around one challenge, whacks at it, but deflected away. He's looking for that goal, Isco. He had a lot of options ahead of him. And Tony Kroos is looking for this foul. Lovely first touch, reads the challenge, trying to pull off the nutmeg, slightest of contacts, Kroos goes down. Real Madrid won a free kick again. And it's been a long time since I've seen Real Madrid play in this fashion, no foul, so consistently. And I still have to say it, there's a lot more to come from these players. Three on the board, they could easily have doubled that with just a bit sharper finishing. And that's the scary thought, but it's got to be pleasing for Ancelotti. You don't want to peak in November. Well, it was a slow start to the season from Ancelotti and Real Madrid. And over the last two months, it's just got better and better. The players have found themselves consistently playing well. Fitness levels are back to where they should be. Driven high, headed away. Not far, though, only to Marcelo. Cross brings it down for Ramos. Good hustle, Fulquier on the near side. One back though by Isco. Laid off Ronaldo. Benzema back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, well, it looked good in his head. It just took a few too many pages to turn into reality spot on should have been done a little bit earlier from ronaldo right there find the pass hammers is on side he delays it he delays it cristiano ronaldo looking for the strike himself hammers is in in an offside position chance gone lovely build up again just all about decision making i think maybe an opportunity now you look at the bench from real madrid where can we see maybe kadira coming on getting some minutes chicharito certainly would be number one on my list to bring on to the field well cordoba replaced by ruben roshina seen him in recent years although it was more in the english championship the ex-barcelona youth player 
through Blackburn and now in his first season with Granada. Moshina loaded with talent. He can create for others and create for himself. Great football. Benzema. Flag stays down because Ronaldo backed away. In fact, it looks a bit sloppy. I'm surprised more players don't do that because the defense still freezes. It's not like finding a loophole in the laws. And Benzema might have been able to catch up to that. Yeah, also attracts defenders to it. You know, when you're standing in an offside position, you're always worried as to where that player is. Is he onside? Is my defenders making sure he's in an offside position? Almost met perfectly. El Adabi falls for Oshina. And the second effort denied by Ramos. Too tricky for his own good. And on the second effort, he sends it high. Well, a great opportunity created from Granada. Uh, Ruben Rosino has just come onto the field. Is the one who finds himself in front of goal. Cross slightly sleeping. Great first touch. Lovely second touch. What about that from Ramos? Great defending. Looked like he gave a little second pump to the shot when he finally brings it to his left and that allowed Ramos to get back. He scored in the opener his debut against Deportivo. What a goal this would have been. Even the second opportunity that's created is a wonderful chance right here. That's a great touch there. The strike has got to be everybody. Ramos, brilliant defending. He never gives up, gets himself back aboard. And that second opportunity right there for Rashina is a good chance as well. He just gets his technique wrong. And how big would that goal have been for the former Barca boy midway through the second half? As we've said, Granada has not been easy to beat, but Real Madrid just loaded with talent. Still, the goals have to go in or Granada is going to continue to slide. Ball inside and the header high from Sissoko. Well, good run forward. This is a lovely delivery when Carlos into a danger zone. It gives an opportunity for someone to get in there. It's Sissoko who makes contact with it. Slightly above his reach. He can't angle the header down to Tess Casillas. Uh, much better from Granada. There is a little bit of creation starting to happen. See if they can get themselves on the score sheet. Last year, this was a 1-0 victory. That's a bit of a concern. We saw some of that in the first half with Hamas, but here gets stepped on. He'll be fine. It was Benzema who scored the only goal of the match. It was a Cristiano Ronaldo own goal two years ago. Last time Real scored this many goals in Granada was back in 1974. Of course, that's in large part due to the fact Granada's been in the lower division since. Headed back across Baba, but no one making a challenge. Give credit to Granada in some ways. Nine points on the table, even though they'd only scored six goals. Well, you can see why. You know, Granada have got a good fighting spirit and amongst them. Certainly having problems scoring goals, putting the ball in the back of the net. They are creating some opportunities in the second half. Very little created in the first 45. But it was a positive start to the season from Granada. And that relaxes the nerves somewhat. But after going on a run, you just mentioned with the six games, only picking up that one point. That's desperation stages. Very quickly, you find yourself in a relegation battle if you don't pick up the points quick. Well, this will draw them to within four wins of the club's best ever run. Back in the days of De Stefano and Puskas in the 60-61 season, and then Mourinho's 2012 campaign.
Ronaldo bounces it in almost to Isco Baba in the way. Cleared away Murillo just far enough. Perez is there. We would have liked to see Cristiano Ronaldo be a little bit more selfish from that cross for Marcelo. Almost sat up perfectly for Cristiano. It's an acute angle, but he's got the ability to pull it off and hit the target. The drum beat from the stands, mainly from the visiting corner. They've had reason to cheer for much of this match from the earliest going. Only two minutes needed to give Ronaldo the chance. In a quarter hour from time in the first half, it was Havis. And then eight minutes into the second half, Benzema. Launch long, no problem for Casillas. Well, for all the huffing and puffing from the home side, it's been a really easy day at the office for Iker Casillas. Nothing much to worry about. Ramos whistled for a little push. Paul Clement giving the final instructions to Sammy Kadira. Healthy again, but the performance of Kroos and Modric is going to make it difficult for Kadira to find time. It does give them a bit more of a north-south push than the other two. Maybe getting a run in against Liverpool. Glancing header by Ramos. Back into the 18. This time it's Pepe. Beautiful control, Benzema. And then runs into a roadblock. Well, I'll be very surprised if Ancelotti changes his team too much for that Liverpool match. And obviously, Carvajal is going to be the one that's struggling with injury now. Alberto really slots perfectly well in his place. But outside of that, I don't see too many changes. And why would you want to make changes when the team is playing so well? How would you imagine they approach that Liverpool game? I think the formation that they've got right now seems to be working a treat. It worked perfectly well against Barcelona last week. You know, Kadira, you just mentioned there, might be a possibility coming in, getting more minutes now. I don't see him replacing Toni Kroos. He's been outstanding. Modric and Isco, two players who have raised their game to the next level. And, of course, we know what James Rodriguez form is in right now as well. Ball down the corner. Arbeloa thought about it. Second thoughts. Murillo again. Gives up a gift. He's looked so promising, but so vulnerable. Kadira in for Modric, and maybe this is a sign to see how he plays alongside Kroos. Well, I guess, if anything, you got to give a round of applause to Modric. You know, his consistency in possession of the ball, his creation has been there, his work rate's been there. It's been an easy day at the office for a majority of these Real Madrid players. They haven't had to push themselves to the top level or their top gear to find this victory. A few mistakes from Granada and they were heavily punished. But ahead of that Liverpool game, you know, of course you've got to look at the form that Liverpool are in right now. Another defeat again today against Newcastle. I think now is an opportunity for Real Madrid to really attack. They can get goals against Liverpool who are vulnerable. Ball in for Benzema. Threads it for Marcelo and again screams it high. I just guess his technique wrong here, Marcelo. Lovely build up, but just watch Marcelo at the bottom of your picture, just slightly leaning back. He's onside, and right there, he just leans back as he pulls the trigger. There's always a tendency to do that when the ball's bouncing. The bobble doesn't help him. He's got to get his head over the top of the ball, try and aim for that far corner, and get power behind the strike. You get your head over the ball, your knee is over the ball, and it's hard to kick it over from that point. It's been great for Marcelo today, Phil, to find himself in so many forward positions. Three attempts now he's had on goal. 
By the way, the defending champions in action immediately following this match. Atletico Madrid welcoming Cordoba. That match coming your way on BN Sports and Espanol. While on BN Sports, it's going to be Empley against the defending Serie A champs, Juventus. Then coming up at 3 o'clock on both channels, Barcelona against Celta Vigo as Luis Enrique takes on his old side. Plenty more action as well on BN Sports Connect. If you don't have it, ask your cable provider why. Well, well done, referee here. Reads the challenge, allows advantage to go on. On a hop by Ronaldo. Well, Marquez, who came in at the half replacing Eddie Pasquale, has made it a bit more difficult for Real Madrid to come up the middle, but it's taken a bit of teeth out of the Granada attack. You know, we've talked a lot about Real Madrid's form. They're playing well, even today, they're playing very well. Uh, look at Cristiano Ronaldo's form in today's match. You know, again, there's still more to come from this Real Madrid team, individually and collectively as a team. The limits are no end. Play on, says the ref, although with their teammate down and down by three, Itura slams it away. It's Juan Carlos Perez who came into this match a bit injured. It appears to be wounded again, got stepped on unintentionally by Arbaloa. Yeah, just a follow through from Arbaloa. Look, okay, just Juan Carlos. Yeah, he's been, been impressive on the left hand side for Granada going forward, Juan Carlos, when he's had the ball at his feet and also movement off the ball. A limited opportunity to get into that forward position. It's been more heavily defensive, and clearly you can see Arbaloa just a follow through from the pass. He's closed down quickly. Typical fullbacks challenge. Another interesting match coming up a bit later today on BN Sports. Five o'clock Eastern. It's Real Sociedad who are having a bit of the UEFA flu just above the relegation zone. They're going to be at home welcoming Malaga who could jump into the European spots if they can get the road win. Played square as Neom off on a foray. Near side Fulquier. Right back into San Etienne days, although mentioned Stafene. In many ways, he was the player that was brought in to help replace Carlos Bocanegra's departure. Just two ships passing on that back line. Nice little touch. Marquez flipping it back. Good build up here. Driving on Arvaloa. The touch inside. Casillas left. At his mercy, but Alarabi couldn't come to the end of that one. Good hustle, Sissoko. Some sloppiness from this Real Madrid back line. Wide for Arbaloa, for Benzema. Fulquier back in time. Well, better from the home side, lovely build up. Little touch from Kadira just takes it away from Pepe. And full credit to Ramos for getting back on the line and clearing it away from Sissoko. Lovely build up from Granada there. One and two touch football. Perez down again. Granada's already used all three of its substitutes. One of the reasons why Perez trying to stay out there. Last time he was stepped on. This time he stepped on again. Well, I just wonder whether or not he's got his studs caught in the surface there. Clearly there is pressure on top of his foot as it's stuck in the ground. He's been at the wars a little bit, Juan Carlos, recently. Just look at his left foot. 
Clearly contact there from James on top of his foot. Maybe jarred his Achilles tendon as well. Should be okay. And more than anything for Real Madrid, it has to come down to game management. Just try to see the game down, slow the clock down, keep possession of the ball. There's no question they're going to try and push for another goal. You know, if you're Capados and you're looking at the glass half full, although I'm never sure that's actually ever happened, you think about what if, what might have happened. If Murillo just blasts the ball away in the second minute, Beautiful ball through on the run. Adebaloa. Benzema feeds it back. And a oh. kick save by Roberto. The old man still has some new tricks. What a save this is from Roberto, but full credit to Real Madrid. Look at this pass from Tony Cruz. Exceptional delivery. Lovely first touch and one-two from Arbaloa with Benzema. Perfectly timed pass into his run. And he's got to finish at Arbaloa, there's no question. But full credit goes to Roberto with that save. Isco will exit for Iadamendi. A bit more of a defensive look, but a nice round of applause. Alarcón, one of the keys to this Real Madrid revival, launched inside, slapped away by Roberto. Marcelo playing it across. Chance for El Arabi. Tees it up for Marquez. Denied by Casillas. They've had their chances, not as many as Real, but they have had the opportunity to put two or three on the board. Denied by Casillas. Cross held up. Maybe a sympathy no call. Well, he certainly had more to do in the second half, Casillas. Another wonderful stop there. That one right down his throat. Almost as if Marquez couldn't get the ball out of his feet. Quick enough to get the strike away. Third save of the second half after an easy one in the first. Oh, into the box and Ramos goes down. Pressure of El Arabi. Well, the defender will always get a favorable decision here. El Arabi just trying to close him down. Hopefully trying not to foul. A little pullback from Ramos's left arm. You can see there. That little tug, clearly a foul. I think that has to come into play about how well Real Madrid have defended over the last month and a half. It's got better and better as time's gone on. Here's a look at the earlier opportunity. Great save, Casillas. Yadamendi allowing Kroos a chance to step up. And in many ways, I think this is to give Kadira the chance to play in his more natural number eight. You think how players develop. Kroos, as you mentioned, going through, I guess, a shabby Alonsoation. But Kadira coming up in many ways as an attacking player in Stuttgart. Converted under Mourinho to more defensive option and under Ancelotti maybe getting a bit more rain as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Well, he always had that in the Bundesliga when he was that midfielder that drove forward. He is that box-to-box. -box. He's got a great finish on him as well. Looking for a setup for Ronaldo, cut off by Fulquier, who's dropped back. Hamas. I think it's safe to say in a Real Madrid jersey, he's very comfortable sitting in that defensive midfield role, keeping possession of the ball. Certainly not as much of a threat as Kroos going forward or even from the creation side of things. But he's proven for the German national team that he knows how to find an assist and he knows how to find a goal. Back heel from Hamas finds Benzema, touched by Arbaloa as he's falling down Ronaldo, but it's buried by Rodriguez. He couldn't risk Granada knocking it clear. It's goal number four. I think you can Roberto see the smiles about an offside that wasn't called, but class from Hamas. The smiles from Hamas Rodriguez. The wonderful smiles. Enjoying the moment. <laughs> He's clearly 
enjoying this as well and why not the question i have to ask myself is cristiano ronaldo continuously trying to put himself on side is he offside right there i'd say that's level well played out below just to feed the ball back to cristiano ronaldo he looks like he's got the ball in the back of the net but being closes down hammers and it finds its way somehow into the back of the net lovely creation again take nothing away from the ability to create and James Rodriguez finds himself another goal. Final contact might have just come off Babin before it went in the back of the net. James clearly was putting it there. He might have knocked it off Rodriguez as well. Bang, bang. But you also kind of sense Rodriguez was laying back. Good hustle here from Granada. They just want to get a goal. Pushed wide, Eladabi into the center, and a swing and a miss. So close, but so far. Well, tired legs coming into play, 3v2 situation. Real Madrid can't close down quick enough. And Eladabi stretching at full length, trying to make contact at the back post. Lovely build up. Good ball across. Marquez, the defensive midfielder just not quite offensive enough approaching the final minute of regulation just to give you an idea last 50 years madrid has played 12 games in granada only once have they been able to score more than two goals i mean phil this is a team that's just playing so high at their ability level that's 37 goals scored in almost 10 matches. 37 goals. Wow. And they might not be done. Swept away from Kadira by Itura. This is the danger. If you wonder why teams park the bus. Murillo is down, favoring his knee. Took a cleat across the top of it from Hamas. The Colombian connection. Yeah, clearly studs onto the knee. And Hamas is looking to make contact with the ball. It's the follow through that just catches the knee. And Murillo has been at the wars today since the very first minute of the match. Caparo's certainly not happy with things. And his team didn't disappoint with their attitude towards the game. They're showing a lot of fighting spirit, but just don't have the ability. They don't have the creators to cause any problems to this Real Madrid backline. They're going to say that is an own goal. I'd almost want to see that slow motion because it appeared as he cleared it, it might have banged off Hamas again, regardless. It's 4 nothing Real. Well, I think if James Rodriguez makes the initial contact towards goal and it's cleared then back into the direction of James Rodriguez, surely you've got to give it as a James Rodriguez goal. The one thing he was shying away, didn't want to take a goal away from Ronaldo if he didn't have to. Two minutes to be added. Well, if they do end up giving it to Hamas, it's his first brace since Brazil. And if not, he's still got some time. About 90 seconds, good turn. Roshina couldn't put on the brakes fast enough. Arbaloa looking good, stepping in for the ailing Carvajal. If there is a concern for Real Madrid after today, it would be the health of Carvajal, who's had to be substituted twice. Ancelotti doesn't look like a coach who's leading by four. Just look at the knowledge that sits on the bench now. I mean, that's wonderful to have. You know, when your team's playing well, the confidence is certainly in that dressing room. But the ability to have those two guys leading this team, by example, Ancelotti, Miero, it's great to see. Midweek again against Liverpool in the 
downhill portion of the Champions League group slalom. Roshina, good touch. Sissoko, body down by Arbeloa, just a top, and it's going to come with its card. Good hustle by the ex Udinese man. Lovely first touch, takes him away from Arbeloa. He's lucky here because it's a goal scoring opportunity. It's just outside the box, maybe too far away for the referee's liking. If that first touch comes in on goal, definitely a goal scoring opportunity. Certainly helped with Pepe's recovery. Only a yellow card. There's no reason to produce a red for that. Well, at least at the moment, Real Madrid will be first. Mentioned Barcelona coming up at 3 o'clock Eastern as they'll take on Celta Vigo. Sevilla has to wait till tomorrow as they'll be at the new San Mamés against Athletic. Can they snap the shutout? Driven, slapped high by Casillas. And the final whistle before it comes back to Earth. Real Madrid with a 4-0 thrashing of Granada on the road. Oh, what a performance from Real Madrid. It's a team that just seems to get better and better, find themselves at the top of the table now with this victory. The form that they are in, they seem unstoppable. Now preparations will certainly lead towards the Champions League in Liverpool. See some of the fans. Well, they found a way to stop Madrid. Unfortunately, the 11 guys who were out there to do that couldn't. A bit of a celebration from some of the youngsters. However, nothing will slow down the juggernaut of Real. 